Thank you, Bate. Speaker, Andy Haldane, the former Bank of England chief economist, recently said in a Sky News interview that the Bank of England kept on printing money for longer than it needed to. It's clear that central banks across the world have been addicted to cheap money, and this has contributed to inflation across the world. Does the Chancellor agree with me that printing cheap and, uh, cheap and easy money has not been without consequence? And instead, our monetary policy must focus on important growth factors like productivity. But, Chancellor. Well, I, I do agree with what he says, and all I would say is the Bank of England themselves have said that there were problems with their inflation forecasting. Uh, they are learning the lessons from that, and we must support them every step of the way as they bring down inflation. Well, asking that question there was the Conservative MP, Sakit Bharti, who joins us now from Central Lobby in Parliament. And um, Thanks so much for being with us uh, today. Why did you ask the Chancellor about that? Well, look, I for a long time have felt uh, that QE is something that is a, seen as a silver bullet by central banks uh, across the world. Um, and clearly it has long-term uh, effects. Um, and to be honest, when I, when I heard what Andy Haldane had said, I thought, actually, I'm just going to put it to the Chancellor. Um, and uh, he, of course, acknowledged, uh, the, he acknowledged what was said and actually said, you know, the, the Bank of England will, of course, uh, reflect on, um, I, I think he used the word reflect, uh, on the, the, the inflation forecasts, which obviously uh, uh, were, were out of kilter. Um, and frankly, for me, look, fundamentally, this comes down to what is happening uh, on, uh, on a daily basis for my constituents, how, how they're feeling uh, and in terms of how much money they've got in their pocket. Uh, and the, the, the interesting thing about QE is, uh, while we've had to do it since 2009, since the financial crash, um, and we had to do it again in COVID because of the extraordinary amounts of expenditure, clearly, clearly there, are, uh, there are repercussions for that. And, uh, and inflation is one of the the, uh, side effects of that. Andy Haldon also said that now's the time to pause interest rate hikes at the Bank of England uh, because he's worried about people being able to afford their mortgages. Do you think he's right? Well, look, Andy Haldane uh, can say that as a former Bank of England chief economist. What I would say, uh, and it's, it's a long-held uh, rule about the independence of the Bank, uh, Bank of England, I, I, and I really do hold that as a sacrosanct rule. I think the Bank of England have to make can a judgment uh, based, can I just jump based in? on. on if I may, yeah, and I, I hear this a lot from it. MPs, and I understand why, you know, you've got to respect the independence back in England. But is it a bit dangerous if MPs feel they can't criticise the actions of the Bank of England? Well, it's, it's not about criticising. I mean, I, I put the question today in Parliament, but I, in terms of the decision about interest rates, um, I think that they have the most up-to-date data. They will have to make those judgments. Uh, of course, as interest rates are going up, uh, my constituents are being affected, people all across the country are being affected. But the, uh, I think the Chancellor actually made a very good point at the end of his answer to me, which is we have to do our, our most to support the Bank of England to make sure that they're getting inflation down, because that is key. The great wealth destroyer uh, at the moment in this country and across the world is inflation, and that that is a point that sometimes get lost in, gets lost in the narrative. Great to have you on the programme. Thank you very much indeed.